Hello guys, welcome back to TechDoz and in this video we will look at the shortest sub array to be removed to make array sorted problem which is from lead code number 1574. Let's now look at the problem statement. In this problem, given an integer array ARR, remove a sub array which can be empty from the array such that the remaining elements in array are non-descending. Return the length of the shortest sub array to remove. A sub array is a contiguous subsequence of the array. Now before looking at any example, let's look at the constraint. Now the array length mentioned is 10 to the power of 5. That means you cannot write an n square algorithm because that will be 10 to the power of 10 operations. And this will not pass in one second. We should make sure it runs with computations less than 10 to the power of 8. Now let's look at an example for better understanding. In this case, let's assume that we are given an array. Our goal is to remove the smallest subarray to make the array non-decreasing. Now a non-decreasing curve means uh, you can have equal items but there should be no items to the left hand side which is larger than any item to the right hand side okay. So you can call it as ascending order as well. We need to return the length of the smallest subarray which needs to be removed here okay. Now if you take this example then you can remove this 3 to 4 then you will be forming the uh, longest possible non-decreasing array right. So the answer is 3 here but then you could have also removed 5 3 2 and you could have left this 4 because then the elements will be 1, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6. This is also non-decreasing, right? So there can be more than one combinations possible, uh, but we just need to return the length of it, okay? Now I hope the problem statement is clear. Now let's see some observations. The first observation is it is always possible to make the non-decreasing array by removing n-1 elements. That means we don't have to remove the entire array. Now let's say that we are given a decreasing curve, strictly decreasing curve 3 to 1. In this case, I just need to remove two items, whether it be 3, 2 or you can remove 2, 1 and still you will be left with just a single item, either 1 or 3, depending on which subarray you removed. And a single element is always considered to be ordered, whether it be increasing, decreasing, non-increasing, non-decreasing, whatever order, right? Therefore, uh, you will never encounter the case that you have to remove the entire array that case will not happen because a single array element is always ordered and the constraint already mentions that the array will have at least one element fine now having known this let's look at the second observation according to this observation we will look at five different cases for removing a sub array now you already know that the sub array is a contiguous set of items right it is not a subsequence you cannot skip any item in the middle so once you start removing everything has to be, to be removed side by side okay now let's consider this case a in this case a if you start removing from let's say the 0th index then you will stop at certain point and this certain point will always be less than the last index because we know that we will not be removing the entire array from the previous observation right so i can generate one such example where i have 5 4 3 2 4 and here if you remove these three items then you will get a non-decreasing curve Okay, so the answer in this case is 3. That means you need to remove a subarray of size 3, which is the smallest subarray, so that you get the largest possible non decreasing array, right? If you look at this case B, and let's say that if the last item had to be removed, and so a subarray starting from the last item and going to the left hand side will be removed, then we already know that since the entire array will not be removed, therefore at least the 0th item will not be removed. So let's say it will go to some ith item and from ith item to the last item it will get removed. So we will be left with the rest of the items right. One such example is 13863 where if you remove this 63 then you will get the largest possible non-decreasing array. So the answer in this case is 2. Now in this example you can also argue that I can remove this 8,6 and still get 133 which is also non-decreasing and it is completely fine right it is completely fine now both the cases just have two length as an answer so i will return two okay now let's see case number uh, c in this case it says that you will start removing from some ith index until the jth index you will uh, you will remove a slice in between right and so if you take an example then i can have 1 comma 3 left over 3 comma 4 left over and i will be removing this 874 from the middle in such a way that it will give me the longest non-decreasing curve. So this case removes somewhere in the middle leaving items on the left hand side and right hand side. Now case number D where we remove the entire array is not possible and this I had already shown in the previous point. Case number E 
where nothing gets removed and yes this is perfectly possible because if the entire array is already non decreasing then you will return zero as an answer that means you do not need to remove anything already the array is non decreasing these are the only five cases which can happen in this problem now from these cases we can derive an observation that let's say uh, we represent the given array in the form of a curve right so this is that curve which i have drawn and this is the given array now if you notice if you have to remove the largest possible sub array then you know that either it will start at zero or it will end at the last index or it will start at some ith index and end at some jth index in the middle right these are the only three cases which can happen and the fourth case is you will not be removing anything it is already non decreasing okay so that will be the best case because i don't have to remove anything right so in this case you have increasing decreasing curve and multiple such curve then if you think logically in this particular example it will be hitting this case number c where you have to remove items from the middle okay and if you have to do that then which curves are your curve of interest your curve of interest will always be the first curve and the last curve all the curves in the middle will be not of interest it is not it is not of our interest right because let's say that i give you a counter example and 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 i mention that let's say i will retain this first curve and i will retain this third curve and i will be removing the second fourth and fifth curve is it possible it is not possible because you are required to only remove one sub array but if you retain the first and the third curve while you have to remove the second fourth and fifth curve then you have to remove two sub arrays this is sub array number 2 and this is sub array number 1 but we are just allowed to remove one sub array right so how can i remove more than one sub array and with that constraint you will always come to a conclusion that the first increasing curve and the last increasing curve will be the only ones which will be forming the longest possible non decreasing curve for you fine so in our case these four items from the beginning and uh, these six items at the end are the only items which are of interest for us and the rest of the items from index 4 to index 13 will definitely not be of interest so no need to check them at all you don't need to revisit them right so this is the first increasing curve because after it you find a decreasing item and this is the last increasing curve which is of interest right so if there is no increasing curve at the end if there is a decreasing curve then it will not be of interest for us now having known the points which are of absolute no interest for us let's see uh, what can give us the answer so if you look at this case a where i will be removing from the beginning then i can choose to remove from index 0 to index 13 and say that uh, my answer will be from 14 to 19 that means this will be the longest non decreasing curve from 14 to 19 that means 14 items have to be removed from 0 to 13 this is from case a from case b we can choose to uh, remove from 4 to index 19 and say that our answer will be from 0 to 3 right and so i have to uh, remove basically 16 items we saw both these cases with case c i will try to balance the uh, removals in, uh, somewhere in the middle in such a way that i will try to maximize the non decreasing set of items right so if you look at the case a then there i was doing 14 removals right when i was removing from 0 to uh, 13 i was doing 14 removals when i was doing removal from 4 to 19 i was doing uh, 16 removals and uh, let's try to see if there is something better which i can do now in this case the better answer is 14 because i want to do least number of removal so i want to find the longest non decreasing set of items here right so what i will do is for the third case that means this case number c removing somewhere in the middle i will keep a left pointer here and let's say a right pointer here okay and i will try to check if i include this four then can i get this two as the next item now if you include this four two cannot be the next item so i'll move this to the right hand side can i have four as the next item yes so how many items are there on the right hand side from index 15 to 19 that means five items and one item from the left side so how many items are included six items total size of the array 20 so the total number of removals will be 14 with this configuration where i retain this zero and i retain everything from 15 to 19 now what i'll do is i'll just move it to the next item 5 and 
if i include this uh, element till 5 right from the beginning that means 4 comma 5 then can i have this 4 as the next item no because 4 is a smaller item right so i'll move to the right hand side and i'll check can i have this 6 as the next item yes 6 can be the next item so the size in this case will be 2 plus 4 and it will be 6 and we will keep repeating this process until we find the largest non-decreasing uh, set of items now let's see a dry run of the entire idea uh, this is let's say the given array and uh, in this case i will be taking a right pointer on the right hand side so the right pointer will be initialized to n minus 1 which is 19 in this case the left pointer it will be initialized to 0 now what i will do is first i will be moving this right pointer to the left hand side unless i find the start of the last increasing curve and what is that start it will be equals to whenever i see an element and the and the left hand side element is a larger item isn't it otherwise this is the start of the array so if i keep moving this right to the left then i will stop at this point index number 14 because the left hand side item is a larger item okay so this can be done with a while loop once you do that then the r will be 14 now right now i will cover the case number a if you remember case number a then everything right from the beginning till a certain index will get removed so if i consider that case then how many items will be removed it will be r items that means 14 items from 0 to 13 will be removed because this is already a non-decreasing curve so this will always fit our answer set right so in this case i will initialize the shortest initially to be equals to r that means i can always remove the first 14 items and the last set will always be the non-decreasing curve okay so this is where i start now i will try to uh, do the case number two in this case you see this case the general case so in this case i will try to include one item after another from the left hand side and try to maintain something on the right too okay and i will push this sub array in such a way that i will also cover the last case at the end let's see how to do that okay so l is pointing to this index number zero fine so if i include this four then can this two be the next item this two cannot be the next item so i will keep moving this right pointer unless I, I find an element which is greater than equals to this left pointer item because this left pointer is the last item of the left hand side curve right so i will stop at this index 15 so this means that four will be included and everything from this index 15 till the end will get included so how many items are not included 15 which is the r value minus zero that means the left index minus 1 so 14 items have to be removed and this is equivalent to r minus l minus 1 these many items have to be removed in the form of a sub array so how many uh, is the shortest number of removals that we know 14 so is this 14 smaller no i want to minimize the shortest uh, sub array removal so in this case no update will happen now i'll try to move my left to the next item i will keep on moving left to the right until i reach to the end or the second scenario is when the current item is smaller than the previous item then i will stop so here 5 is greater than 4 so i will not stop it is greater than equals to 4 right so now if i include 5 then can 7 be taken as the next item yes it can be taken so in this case how many items uh, should i remove 15 minus 1 minus 1 that means 13 items needs to be removed which is from index number 2 to index number 14 so if 13 removals are made we can make a non-decreasing curve out of the rest of the items so already known a uh, shortest removal is 14 so this will get updated to 13 now we will move this left pointer again to the right hand side so 7 is greater than equals to 5 so it is fine now do i need to update this right pointer no 7 can be the right element of 7 because it is greater than equals to 7 fine so in this case how many items should i remove i should remove from 3 to 14 so how many items are these 15 which is the right pointer minus the left pointer 2 minus 1 which will be equals to 12 so 12 is smaller than 13 so i will update this to 12 okay now i'll again move this left pointer again 13 is greater than equals to 7 so this is completely fine now can this 7 be the right hand side item of 13 no so i will keep moving this right pointer to the right unless i find an element which is greater than equals to 13 or i hit the end of the array so i'm hitting the end of the array here so once i do that then this means that the first curve will be included and everything from 4 till the end will get excluded and this was another extreme case if you remember this one okay in this case we were including everything from the first curve but removing everything else so finally we are reaching to that point right so in this case if i remove everything 
then i will be subtracting 20 minus 3 minus 1 so 16 items have to be removed from index 4 to 19 now is this 16 lower than 12 no it is not therefore if right reaches out of bound then we will stop fine so in this case 12 is the answer i hope you were able to understand this so this is a linear solution uh, and the time complexity will be order of n we have not used any space so the space complexity will be order of one let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number this is the simple implementation of the problem where we are given the array finding the number of items in the array defining l to be the start point and r to be the last point and this is the adjustment that we are doing that keep moving r to the left unless i find the start of the last increasing curve right and i will stop once i do that then this is covering case number one where we were removing everything from the beginning and starting from some ith index to the last we will be including because this is the last increasing curve right so the last increasing curve uh, will always be from r to the end and so our items have to be removed so the shortest removal will be assigned to the first removal right from the beginning okay and then we will try to adjust the left as i said the left point uh, the left pointer item will be included and if you include this then you have to adjust your right pointer and find an item y where y should be greater than equals to x because y has to be the next item of x right and it is a non-decreasing curve so definitely y has to be greater than equals to x so this is where i stop otherwise if i go out of bound then also i will stop so the shortest number of removal will always keep on updating to the already known shortest value comma r minus l minus one as i had already explained once you do that then i will adjust this l value to the right hand side i'll move this l value to the right hand side and i will check if the current l value is greater than equals to the previous value and if that is not the case then i will break the loop that means we are done okay and if it is uh, correct then i will again repeat the process i will again repeat the while loop fine and finally i will get the shortest length of the sub array that i need to remove in order to uh, get the longest possible non-decreasing array so i hope you were able to understand this if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you